What is up guys? I'm finally back home here in Houston, Texas after being away from home for the last five months. You know, it's been a wild time out in California and I realize it's June now and <laughs> I've been away from home longer than I've been here this year, right? It's crazy. I spent more time somewhere else than I have in my own home. But you guys told me you guys love the PPC content I made out in California. So here's another one. But even better, this is gonna be a step-by-step -step walkthrough made by PPC expert Sean Smith, all right? Sean works with my partners, Nick and Fernando, and today, today, Sean is gonna go ahead and walk through the title keyword research method, all right? Sean is a badass who manages over $70,000 a month, right, in spend for Nick and Fernando for their PPC campaign, right, uh, every month. And <laughs> that's crazy, it's more than most people's salaries per month, right, and he only currently works with with seven and eight figure sellers. So if you guys are at that level and ready to outsource for a PPC spend, then consider reaching out to Sean and his team at Jungle Scout. But other than that, then let's go uh, ahead and get into how you guys are gonna find what keywords to use in your campaigns, what which campaigns to run, right? And the secret bid amounts experts like Sean use. Hey, Seller Tradecraft community. I wanted to put together, well, first off, my name is Sean Smith. I am a PPC Amazon PPC guy and uh, wanted to put together a tip for the seller tradecraft community so let's go on ahead and hop right in so I'm gonna go on ahead and this is gonna be the text for the post that I put into Facebook I'm also in, into the Facebook group um, this is the title keyword research method we've been using this internally for a really long time something was one of the first things we built and was really, you know, I'm always a little surprised at how many people actually don't do this. Even bigger accounts sometimes don't do it. So, you know, what I recommend doing, you're going to do your research for your keyword research for your product. Um, but, you know, when we hop into new accounts, we have the listings. This is how one of our top keyword research methods. And it's generated about 160K, 165, almost 165K in PPC sales for two of our biggest accounts at like a 33% A cost, which is good um, within our targets. And uh, actually in the past two months, and so this is the past 60 days, and then 46,000 of these sales came from Nick and Fernando's PPC account. I am their PPC agency, AKA one of the luckiest guys on earth. I love working with Nick and Fernando. You have no idea. They become mentors, good friends of mine, just legendary good, good hearted people that want to provide value. So let's go ahead and jump in how to do this. So what you're going to want to do is open your Amazon product listing page and have it in front of you if it's done. So I just select, I'm just going to select this one. I don't know who this is. This is in any product that I work with. So, you know, let's go ahead and hop in. So this is, you know, this is our title. And so we just want to go in and pull some pull some phrases here. We just want to pull some phrases like nail clippers, right? You want to pull the top phrases and then you want to start basically going, I use merchant words. I know some people say don't like merchant words that much because I don't know, they say the data is not updated or something like that. I actually don't really use it for search volume. It's worked really well for us. I mean, you know, you see these numbers here, the, these numbers. Yeah, this is from using merchant words. <laughs> so it's generated results for us. So you want to log in and I think you can get a free trial or something. I don't have an affiliate. I'm not affiliate or anything like that, but we do use it for this. So I'd log in. Sean, here we go. Log into Merchant Words. I do know the founder of Merchant Words, George. He's a great guy. And so we're going to look at these phrases. Let's go through here. Open, start pulling keyword phrases from your title and put them into a spreadsheet. You can do that beforehand. I usually don't necessarily pull them. I just do them off the top. So you, what you could do is pull these keyword phrases and put them into a spreadsheet and then go here and have a list of them. But I just go on ahead and do it right off the bat. So let's take nail clippers, copy it. Let's go over here and then we're going to search it. All right. And then, so this is nail clippers. I don't think this is for, this is for humans. So you see how it says dog nail clippers, but Really what we just want to do is download the CSV, open it up, and then go through each one. I mean, this is what I do. Just go through. I know it's a very qualitative approach. You know, we're not using a lot of like data, but this is what we like to do. We go in and figure out what applies to us. Like, for example, could women use this? Yes, they could. Could men use this? Yes, they could. Could kids use this? Um, I don't know if it's for babies. I think they have special clippers. 
Is this a set of sale clippers? So you want to go through and pull, you know, pull the phrases that match your product, that describe your product, right? You can do fingernail clippers. This might be another one that I do. Go here. Search it. And then I would download it and go in and find, you know, a couple hundred keywords. It takes time, but it's worth it. And then what you're going to want to do is, you know, and you want it to describe your product, right? You want to say to yourself, if somebody clicked on an ad for this, would, would it describe the product that they're, that's showing them? And if it does, we're going to make the assumption that they would, it would be something that they want to potentially buy. And so that's something to keep in mind as well. You know, you want to make sure it really aligns with the user. And then we're going to put these together. Once you're done pulling your, all of the data, you want to create campaigns, exact phrase and broad match campaigns. I like to test all three. Here are the starting bids I use. They're pretty aggressive. I do 222 for exact, $1.78 for phrase and $1.42 for broad. These are the starting bids. And then, um, you can either use these or once you upload them, you can, we kind of recommend you can change the bids. Oh, not the days to 25%. What you would do is you would have, you would apply the suggested bid and then I would maybe do 25% above the suggested bids and see how that works. Um, or you could just do this as well. I have thrown this in there, but honestly, we've generated our results from using these three numbers. And the reason we use these three numbers is because, especially with new products, when we don't have any data, we just go pretty aggressive. $2 is usually a pr on the higher end of it. Um, it, it is fairly arbitrary. I would say in certain categories, this might not work. I know there are a few categories off the top of my head that I know are more aggressive, like, you know, supplements. Usually the cost per clicks are higher, so you might actually have to do a higher bid. But for most products, unless it's supplements, some beauty products, then we'll use these three and it works out pretty well for us. Um, and then adjust them as needed, right? These are just starting bids. So increase or decrease as needed. And what I would do is when you create the campaigns, let me show you how to do it. So you want to put the SKU, so the name of your SKU, you want to put, um, what I do is TKW for title keywords, actually TKWR, title keyword research, and then you would put the date, so whatever the date is, you know, like 61218, and then put the match type, because we separate the match types by each campaign, so like each match type gets its own um, campaign so that we can control the budget by match type and just do, you know, 10, 12 bucks. Uh, you, you know, you could designate, uh, a specific budget if you, for launching this product, if you want to spend like 40 bucks a day, then you would want to make sure that like, you know, um, you know, you may do 10 bucks for this one, 10 bucks for the other one or whatever equals that $40 and just monitor the spent. But this is the campaign name I would use and the ad group name I would use as well when you upload the campaigns. All right, everyone, this is the legendary Amazon PPC tip title keyword research method. It's so basic, but you know, it's, it's so important and fundamental to, to our success. So making sure that our keyword PPC keyword research aligns with what is in here, because this is what our, our users, our customers are going to see. And if you guys, I hope this helps you. Um, and yeah. This is the legendary Amazon PPC tip. And thank you guys so much, and I hope this brought you a ton of value. So now, make sure you guys go take action right now. And by the way, if you guys haven't already, right, every single week we're hosting a free workshop to share the three discoveries we had in our Amazon journey, me, Nick, and Fernando, that changed our lives and our perspectives about building million dollar businesses on Amazon. So be sure to watch our other Amazon videos, or our other YouTube videos on Amazon PPC and give this video a thumbs up and make sure you guys attend the workshop, right? We're gonna have it in the link below.